Hi everyone, I am Eng Sun Jia, Microsoft MVP. Today, I would like to share with you about Introduction to Azure Blueprints. <coughs> Actually, what is Azure Blueprints? At a high level, Azure Blueprints help you meet organi organizational cloud standard pattern and requirement through governance subscription. Enable and enforced by a group by the grouping of artifacts like ARM template, Azure policy, R role based RBAC role assignment, and resource blueprints. Blueprints can be used to lay a cloud foundation as cloud pattern and group uh, and group cloud governance framework. Blueprints are a one-click solution for deploying cloud foundation, patterns, or governance framework to an Azure subscription. Think of Azure Blueprints as reusable design parameters for cloud that can be shared and used across an enterprise. Azure Architect typically map out and plan the many aspects of a cloud foundation for an organization such as access management, networking, storage, policy, security, compliance, naming conventions, tagging, monitor, backup, location, and more. Now, Azure Architect can start this designing a step further, build this design as Azure Blueprints and, that, and then apply them to a subscription. The Azure, the Azure Blueprint give architect way to orchestra the deployment of group component to speed up the development and provisioning of new environment, ensuring they are meeting organizational compliance. There are three things to make up the Azure Blueprint. The first one is definition, the second one artifact, the third one is an assignment. Assignment also uh, have a sub element. This they are sequencing and resource locking. Okay, let's go to the first elements definition. The definition is the design of what should be deployed. It consists of the name of groupings, the description, and the definition location. The definition location is the place in the management group hierarchy where this grouping definition will be stored and determine the level assignment is allowed at. Currently, you must have contributor access to a management group to be able to save grouping definition to it. A grouping can be assigned at or below the management group. It has set in its definition location. Now we come to the artifact. The definition is where blueprint artifacts are added. As of right now, the following is a list of artifact type. Policy assignment. Let you add an Azure policy. This can be built in or custom policy. Role assignment. Let you add a user, app, or group and set the role. Only built-in roles are currently supported. Azure Resource Management, Azure Resource Manager template. Let you add an ARM template. This does not let you import a parameter file. It does let you preset the parameter or set the parameter during assignment of the blueprints. Resource group. Let you add a resource group to be created as a part of this blueprint. In my opinion, the ARM um, template artifact is the most impactful of the blueprint artifact types because you are you can define just a variety of resource here. It opens the blueprint to the power of ARM um, in general. Hopefully, in the future, we will see more scripting capability or the ability to load PowerShell script, runbook, or functions.
Now we come to the third one, third element in the Azure Blueprint. Assignment. In cloud environment consistency is key. Naturally, Azure Blueprint can also leverage resource locking in Azure. Blueprints have a locking mode. This locking mode can be applied to none or all resources and is determined during the assignment of, uh, of the blueprint. The decision on cannot be changed later. If a locking state need to be removed, then you must first remove the blueprint's assignment. Some blueprint artifacts create resources during assignment. These resources can be can have the following state. Not locked can be changed, can be deleted. Read on it. Can be changed, can be deleted. Cannot edit or delete. Create, update, delete within the group, the resource group. Artifact that become resource group get the state of cannot edit or delete automatically, but you can create, update, and delete resource within them. <coughs> okay, now we come to a planning for a job problem. This is four element you need to consider four area you need to consider about that. Uh, consider implementing for your Azure Blueprint. First location where where you save the blueprints is a is key to your assignment capability. It is recommended that you save the blueprints as high as necessary in your ma management group hierarchy. It is important to note that you can only change the location and by deleting and recreating the blueprint. Naming convention. The naming of a blueprint up to you. You cannot have spay the name. Use and agree upon naming convention of your organization can be consistent. A good naming convention facility facilitate your ease of management and reporting. Version name. The version name that are typically used are like version standard of for software. For example, use 1.0, 2.0 and so forth to denote major version and use 1.1 or 2.1 to the not change that are minor to the major version. Talk the not session is optional. Plan to use this to documents. Change are made to a previous version of the blueprints. Artifact. Plan to test the artifact you use in a blueprints prior to adding the definition. For example, ensure that you have related the policy or initiative word as expected prior to using in a blueprint definition and assignment. In this session and throughout the rest of in this session we dive in, into creating and managing the life cycle of blueprints in greenfield and brownfield environment. There are three top stages of a blueprint. Create, apply, and track. Create. You create a new blueprint starting with a definition that has no artifact. Or you can start. Uh, you can start with one of the sample provider. Apply. The process of applying to a scope is effectively the assignment of a blueprint. At the end of writing, you can only assign a blueprint to a subscription track. This is the life cycle management of assigned blueprint. View and update assigned blueprint. Now, I am going to give an example of building and using a blueprint in a cloud foundation mod scenario. In my mod scenario, I have three Azure subscription. Each subscription should have a core services resource group consisting of a core VNet with three subnet. 
and NSG for each subnet and the web subnet should be ready for DMZ traffic. For the core VNet and any additional VNet are added to the core services resource group. I need network watcher deployed to it. <coughs> now we go for a demo. I, more of my screen, screen uh, more of my demo is will be more uh, more on screenshot to prevent anything the demo can work. Each subscription also should have a core storage account and a block storage that is ready for general storage needed. I want to I want attack apply to any grouping assignment labeling it with the assignment name. So it is easy to track. The last requirement I have is that I need the cloud ops teams to automatically be owner of all core services resources. To accomplish all of this, I created the following blueprint. Now let's walk through the path of creating and assigning the blueprint. The first step is to create the blueprint definitions. In the basic step I give is, is a meaningful name and meaningful description. I set the definition location to the root of my management group. Doing this will allow me to assign this grouping to all three subscriptions in turn creating the core services resource group in each subscription. Next, the artifact need to be added. Note that when adding an artifact at the subscription level, you have this option as time. The resource group artifact type is only available at the subscription level and the ARM, level, ARM template artifact type is only available at the resource group level. I added the resource group that the core networking and core storage will be deployed into. The next artifact I added was an ARM template that will create the core winner and three core subnets in it, including front end, FE subnet, application, app subnet, database, database subnet. These ARM templates also create three network security group, one for each subnet, and DMZ rules for this app subnet to export endpoint to the internet. <coughs> for the story account and block subnet, I added a second ARM template that deployed the needed storage. Note that after an artifact is added, you can edit it. To ensure my cloud of team is full owner of the core service resources, I added role assignment to my blueprint. I'm not showing this here, but I also added Ideal policy artifact that set a default tag for the assignment name during assignment. After you create the blueprint, will be in a draft status. <coughs> you must publish the blueprint before you can assign it. Not that you also can view, edit, or delete the blueprint. After a blueprint is published, the option to assign it will show up. On the menu. <coughs> when you publish, you give it a version and can add change note. Okay, now we go for assign a blueprint. Next, let's assign the blueprint. Go to definition and click on assign blueprint. Select the subscription, name the assignment. Set the location, select the version, and decide if the assignment should be locked. Complete any needed artifact parameter and click on Assign. You will see the blueprint begin assigned after you click on the Assign button. Now, if you go to Resource Group, you will see the BP-9251RG group. 
we specified during the assignment created in each subscription. If you click on each resource group in each subscription, you will see the same extract exact resources. Our angel policy deploying network washer work. We can verify by looking at the network topology diagram. The role assignment would assign the cloud ops team the owner role. <coughs> That's all right. You now have you are the core resources of each of your subscription and have meet all the requirements. Okay, the third demo. Handle a failed assignment. If for some reason your assignment fail, you can view error details as to why by doing to assign blueprints and clicking on the one of the have a provisioning state of fail. When you nail down the issue, you can redeploy the assignment by clicking on update assignment and run the assignment again. Let's wrap up the entire uh, video. As you can see, the Azure Blueprint will play an important role in an organization governance and management strategy. This service is in preview for now, but get in now and start working with it and add this to your cloud plan as Microsoft have a ton of features and functionality coming soon. That's all for my demo. Here we are here with my blog and YouTube channel. My blog most about Azure Security Center. If you uh, want to learn more about Azure Security Center, please go to my blog. If you still not yet subscribe my my channel, please subscribe to it. Please like and share with your friends. That's all for today. Thank you very much. See you again.